guys, good morning. It's 9.30, welcome back to regular vlogs. You guys will probably see this before most of the Disney vlogs, I'm thinking, because today's Friday. You'll see this Saturday night. So yeah, you'll definitely see it before most of the vlogs, but that's okay. You, they will continue to come. I, hopefully you will at least have seen, have seen one or two by now. And, yeah, what? Um, and they will continue to come, don't fret. So, today's Friday, June 22nd. We are back to life, back to reality. It's always sad when you come back from a vacation, but I'm starting my day off with a protein smoothie. So my official weigh-in is tomorrow. You guys know I usually weigh in on Saturdays, but I did weigh today just to get an idea since, you know, today's my first day. Honestly, I'll probably drop a little bit of water weight between today and tomorrow, even just in one day. So I may be back down to where I was before I left um, by tomorrow, but today I officially only gained one pound on vacation. One and I'm back on it today. So like I said, my official weigh-ins are Saturday, but I was curious today to see, even after eating the Mexican food we had last night, we're gonna go grocery shopping today and get the house, I mean the house is clean, just get all our clothes cleaned up and everything put away. That'll be nice to just have everything. And we did laundry before we left, so we don't have very much of uh, dirty clothes, which is great. Um, but yeah, weight loss, I'm just super excited. One pound for a 12 day trip, and I literally ate, I started the trip the first few days, I tried to do really good, like at the buffet, the character meals and stuff, I tried to do really good, but after that I just was like, there's so much good food here, and I ate whatever I want. So I gained one pound. One. I'm, I just like can't even believe it. One. And every single day I walked anywhere between 14,000 and 18 to 19,000. Some people say they walk 20 to 30,000 miles for that many, but it, that wasn't me. I, I felt like we walked and walked and walked and walked. And my Fitbit only ever said anywhere between 14 and 18. I think it was like 18,6, 18,600, which is still a lot for me because I usually don't even hit 10,000 unless I'm doing cardio at the gym. Like if I go work out with my trainer, I don't even hit 10,000 miles, or 10,000 steps for the day. So, I thought that was pretty good, one pound. And like I said, probably tomorrow, I'll wake up and be even a little less bloated. Cause I could see in my pictures, my, my like I was taking multiple pictures every single day and I could tell in my face was a tiny bit bloated. Um, just prob probably from the extra, I don't know, greasy, salty foods and stuff, so. Not bad, I'm really excited. So yeah, the plan today is to get unpacked, rest and relax a little bit, recuperate, and go grocery shopping because we literally came home to no food. So we'll have a major grocery haul because all we have is meat. We don't have anything else. You wanna go outside and play? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> and Autumn has said so many new words over vacation. That's one thing. She started saying that before, but now she says, mama, here, here, like when she's trying to uh, give me something if she wants a bite of your food. Just say, Mama, bite, bite. Oh, bless you, bless you. Please, please. Okay, let's go outside and play. Girls are playing with their lightsabers. Careful, you're gonna hit each other. Only the lightsabers. Wait, wait, sissy. And while we were gone, our crepe myrtle bloomed. So pretty. We had a neighbor come over right now and she was like, your flowers are beautiful. We're like, what? Sure enough, we looked back and it bloomed while we were gone. So pretty. I know, I'm looking a hot mess. I'm exhausted still. <laughs> Look at the bags under my eyes. I definitely plan on going to bed early tonight, but we were outside playing for a, a long time, which is another reason why I look like this. I need to wash my hair. But I thought I would do it tonight before bed because I work tomorrow, which kind of stinks having to come back right from vacation and go back to work, but it is what it is. Most people have to do that. So Nin came over, brought, brought the girls some breakfast. She came over to drop off oat oh, corn and carrots from someone's garden. She's always bringing this stuff, so that's cool. And she brought the girls some breakfast and she came over with her best friend Candy and Candy was like, oh y'all are going grocery shopping, why don't y'all go right now? I was like, really? Score without the kids? Awesome. So they're at the house watching the kids and we are doing some bulk grocery shopping because we have zero food in our fridge, zero. 
we do have lots of meat and stuff. We probably will still pick up a few things of meat, but we do have lots of meat options. Um, we have some pantry stuff, but zero things in our fridge. So we're stocking up. And look, cotton candy grapes are back in stock. Yeah. Hour later, I'm gonna say 3.15. What are you saying? 300? 315. Today has been such a productive but kind of lazy day. Like literally, I am pulling myself from the couch because I'm so tired. I really just want to, my head's hurting too. I really just want to go to bed. And I know sleep is not that far away, but at the same time, it couldn't come soon enough. Seriously, I am like exhausted. Look at that curl. Oh my goodness. I'm so tired. The girls, even they did like quiet nap time for a long time, it felt like. Autumn only took an hour nap. I'm surprised she's not more tired, but look at her. This is so funny. With the car seats in here. Hi. <laughs> what are you eating? What are you eating? Huh? Give to mommy. Give to mommy. Oh, it's just. She got in and buckled herself, like did the top buckle. And she's been sitting there watching TV for a little while. I'm so tired. We're gonna try these tilapia tonight and see how it goes. This is, oh, I showed it in the haul, but we got tilapia fillets instead of regular tilapia that we've done for fish tacos before. And we bought the blackened seasoning, trying to get more bang for our buck. So tired. So the only thing we really got accomplished today, I unpacked two suitcases. We still have two more upstairs, our clothes and the girls' clothes, and they're all clean. So really we could live out of the suitcase for like till tomorrow or Sunday. I work tomorrow, so probably Sunday, um, because all the clothes are clean. So yeah, maybe after dinner I'll actually head upstairs while I'm importing footage and changing out my battery and stuff and have the girls go through the clothes and put away their clothes that'll make a big difference and then I can do ours tomorrow or Sunday I thought today was going to be so much more productive than it has been but that's okay keeping myself awake <laughs> and not sleeping on the couch has been the goal for the day this is what I was dreading. Yes, we came home with everything clean, but putting it away is going to stink. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. The girls are bathing, um, getting ready for bed, and I'm slowly starting to take some stuff out of this to make more room up here so I can start putting away clean clothes. But we have baskets here, clean clothes here, clean clothes here, clean clothes here. Oh my gosh. But like I said, it's better coming home clean then coming home dirty still having to wash it and then put it all away but it's just like overwhelming and I've had such a lazy day I'm so tired good night see you tomorrow and Adam good night see you tomorrow boop, boop. so I'm currently exporting vlog one I'm hoping to get it up before it's only 9 p.m. I typically don't go to bed or I make sure I'm asleep by 10 p.m. on days that I work so I'm hoping fingers crossed I just got done editing it it's exporting and I'm going to upload it's only day one so it's not that exciting hopefully by the time you guys are watching this vlog you should have an exciting vlog um, but I wanted to show you the progress we made so I have a pile over here of stuff that I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with if you guys are, are avid Disney goers what do you do with like your your Disney specific stuff in between I have this all my ears and then I have a box that has our lanyards with our magic bands in it. I don't know what to do with all this stuff. So anyway, I have this this here pending where to put it. Um, one luggage that needs to go to my mom's, but we have a pile of Autumn's clothes. Autumn's clothes are the only ones that we didn't get put away. Everything else, as you can see, is clear. The floor needs to be vacuumed, but Emmy put away all her clothes. We helped Maddie and put away all her clothes. Our bedroom doesn't look too too bad I mean the bed we didn't make today but hung up put away everything I have uh, I mean even it needs to be vacuumed but I guess socks need to be put away this is the other thing I was talking about that needs to be put away 
It's just like a box that actually holds pictures, but it has our mouse, like the girl's toddler mouse ears, magic bands, things like that, which the toddler mouse ears on AliExpress, seriously, they're like a dollar a piece. They worked awesome. So, so good for Autumn. So good. I need to film that haul. And then there's hang up clothes in there, but I'm just too tired. I don't even care to do them right now. Everything else got folded and put away. So hopefully I can get that done tomorrow. And the downstairs looks pretty good. So I'm, I'm happy that we got everything put away because it was a lot. Okay, so I am going to call it a night. Like I said, it's just after 9 p.m. I have to work tomorrow. Unfortunately, I should have planned it a little bit better and taken another PTO. I don't know what I was thinking. It's like you need a vacation from your vacation. I should have taken one more PTO this week and not gone back to work till next week, but not a big deal. It is what it is. So I'm going to head to bed soon. I'm just waiting, like I said, for the vlog to export. I'll get this uploaded for you guys because I've got so many DMs and I love you guys for it. So many DMs while I was gone. I tried to update Instagram stories as much as I could. I didn't snap because I figured it would be double for those of you that follow me on Snap and Instagram. Instagram was easier for me so I did that. I did not film outfit of the day videos. However, I wanted to but literally the trip was so chaotic. Something went wrong every single day. But let me tell you, even though something went wrong, every day it was an amazing trip like we're already planning our second trip and I thought people were just like BSing when I would follow them on the Facebook group and they're like oh my god we had s such an amazing time we can't wait till our next trip I'm like halfway through through the trip I was like no mm -mm, I'm tired I can't do this again I don't see why people think this is fun but then when it was done and over I'm like oh my gosh we had such an amazing time so it was definitely a really great trip even though this vlog, the initial vlog, doesn't reflect that because it was a really rough start to the vacation and we had, like I said, several rough patches in between, but I feel like when you're traveling with kids, I mean, that's bound to happen, so, and I didn't even explain, I don't think, what happened with the air conditioning and with the garage. So the garage, the springs broke, which is why it wouldn't open. Had to pay $175 for a guy to come over and take literally 10 minutes to fix it. Yeah, I know. I told him the desk, I was like, we need to be in the garage fixing business. <laughs> $175 and it took him 10 minutes. I could not believe it. I was like, really? That's it, seriously? Okay, but now it works, so that's good. Um, the AC is still not really fixed so we it was leaking we had to put it has a pan there to catch leaking like if it um, has too much condensation or whatever but it was leaking like every two hours it was filling the pan so had we not turned off the AC it would have flooded the house and we can't deal with another flooding of the house especially an upstairs one so we just cut the AC off altogether. Bella went was at Bia's house and then she was at Nin's house so I knew we wouldn't have any animals here no people no humans here like no one was going to be here so we just completely cut the ac off and um, left it like that until nin got back from vacation she left on thursday the 15th 16 15 whatever she left last thursday and so she came uh, she was back over the weekend. She had Bella. She came Monday the 18th this past Monday and um, We had the AC man come turns out it has one of our pipes has a little tiny leak in it like a hole Of some sort. I don't know how big it is. I don't know first thing about ACs um, But it has a little hole and a leak in it So a temporary fix was to put extra Freon in it because that's what it was leaking and because it was leaking Or not holding it or I don't know exactly what uh, it was making the AC work overtime and it was frosting up and then when it was thawing that's what it was leaking so we temporarily fixed it which cost $150 not too bad right because usually AC repairs are super super expensive but now we're trying to figure out where to go from here if we need to replace the entire system or just the indoor system either way you look at it it's going to be several at least several thousand dollars on up to god knows how much so that was kind of a bummer to come home to luckily it could have been worse the house could have flooded it could have happened the day after we left and we literally would have come home to a flooded house because we would have turned off not turned off we would have turned down the ac so it wouldn't have ran as much but no one would have been here 
I mean, no one was checking in on the house. We have the neighbor across the street that checks in on it, but he doesn't come upstairs and look around. At least I don't think he does. He's kind of nosy, so maybe he does, but he, no one would have noticed unless he went downstairs and saw like water leaking from the ceiling in the kitchen or something, he would not have noticed that the house was flooding. So we would have come home 12 days later to a flooded home and I don't know what could have happened. So everything happens for a reason and I'm so happy that it happened the way that it did you know the garage was not a huge deal that was an easy fix but the AC it could have happened so much more worse at a, at a worse time I should say and it luckily it happened right before we left so we could take care of it now we just have to decide whether we need to get a new system or it can be just repaired from the one area like I said I don't know anything about ACs so that's what happened with that um, and like I said I don't think I talked too much about it prior to that also this vlog the way that the vlog ended it looked like oh my gosh it was just such it was such a long day I didn't go to bed until 4 a.m. we were up at 7 6 30 or 7 and we did not go to bed till after 1 and I went to bed bawling my eye my left eye was Killing me. I mean, I've never ever felt pain like that before ever Never have I felt pain. Honestly, I felt I almost went to the ER because I didn't want to Have an aneurysm or anything like that. Like that's how bad it hurt it hurt so bad and I had already taken medicine I tried to get down go to sleep Put the pressure from the pillow was making it pound even more and it was like sh super sharp shooting pains just in my left eye and it was like I kept pressing on the orbital space around it and it was like so much pressure it hurts so bad so bad so the end of that night the first day I I had just had it when we went to go rent the car I waited in line for an hour and a half because they had people quit on them so they had a huge line of people I had maybe seven or eight people in front of me and there was only one person working and they had a huge line of people people were irate irate in fact when I went up there I tried to stay cool calm and collected because I was like you know what sometimes things happen like people had walked out they didn't they were understaffed I get it so I was like okay I was super irritated but I went up there and the guy was like thank you so much for waiting I was like no I understand I said you guys don't deserve to be treated poorly because some people were really treating them bad I was like you guys don't deserve to be treated poorly because this is totally out of your hands and he's like thank you I appreciate that uh-huh that was initially then he tried to get real rude with me I mean very extremely rude I've never dealt with a person this rude in my life and I don't know what the heck happened is like he's just flipped a switch and totally went off on me he was like oh do you want to get the easy pass which we don't have toll roads here in Texas I don't think anywhere in Texas I know for sure anywhere that I've traveled in Texas we don't have toll roads um maybe Houston has a toll road I don't think so anyway I don't know San Antonio doesn't have toll roads so I'm not that familiar with them. I remember having to pay a few when we went to Florida last time, but that was nine years ago. So he was like, are you going to get the easy pass? And I was like, no, I mean, we just, you know, our hotel's not that far and we're only doing Disney. It should be fine. We'll pay the tolls. Oh no. If you do that, you're going to end up paying $15 a toll plus whatever the toll was for going through the easy pass lane. I'm like, okay, do they not like, can I pay in dollars or change or something? No, because if you do that, then if you don't have the exact change, they won't let you through. You'll have to pass through the easy pass lane and they'll charge you $15 every single time. And that'll add up. And he was like being super rude because I was questioning it. And I was like, well, I said, no, it's okay. I was like, I have, I brought cash. Like, I'll make sure I have change fine. It's like, okay. Uh, you didn't prepay for insurance. I'm like, well, I prepaid for the car, like everything. It didn't require me to get a certain type of insurance more than just like the regular uh, insurance that it came with and he's like no we require it in Florida I said okay well in Texas we don't require that like actually when you rent a car here in Texas you don't even have to have insurance at all you can use your own personal insurance we don't transfer it over here and he just kept cutting me off like super super short and I was like okay well let me finish I said so what is it that we need to have and again like before I even finished talking he was like no and I guess because I was already super irritated I was like 
trying to be really polite but then he kept cutting me off and kept being super rude i think it was more of a cultural thing um i'm not exactly sure what where he was from or what his culture was he had some sort of accent but so i think that could have been like a a little bit of a language barrier the way that he was speaking to me but i was just like no i said okay look I was like you don't and I was super polite I was like you don't have to be rude I was like I'm just trying to understand because I already prepaid and oh no well, I don't do your payment here so I'm gonna have to charge your card again I'm like oh hold up no you are not I already prepaid $570 plus $150 deposit you are not charging my card again and then then I was like mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. and he was like oh well I'm not giving you the car unless I have to charge your car again I was like what <laughs> i said well give me back my card you're not going to charge it i already prepaid well then i guess you're not getting your car and he tossed my credit card to me and i was like oh no i prepaid you're giving me my car and he's like no i'm not oh and that's when he tossed the credit card he didn't toss it the first time he's like no i'm not giving you your card toss my credit card it slid off the counter and flew and like fell on the floor behind me and he was like i quit and walked out I could not believe it it was absolutely insane I've never ever dealt with anything like that before so I walked over to the other guy and I was like sir this man just walked out and quit he's refusing to give me my car because I was asking questions about the insurance and the easy pass I said I've already prepaid I'm getting my vehicle before I leave here either that or you need to give me my money back and I was super polite like I was not I didn't get irate some of the people were treating them so bad and I wasn't like that at all I could have been because I was like oh I had already had it I could have been so mad and I wasn't and looking back on it he deserved it the way that he treated me he deserved it and I didn't I kept kept my cool until he was like you're not gonna get your car i was like oh yes i am gonna get my car you're not gonna play this with me i'm going to get a vehicle so the second guy ended up taking care of it i still got charged extra for the entrance and the easy pass that i i didn't know i thought i had prepaid for everything and they it was just a big old mess so i was like forget it give me my vehicle the van ended up being fine and it worked out okay but then when I, we got back and we got settled we didn't get to get our groceries like that was it was just a rough start to the trip so yeah I know it looks like you know I'm being bratty and ungrateful and having a bad trip but it turns out much better it does <laughs> even with all the crazy chaos that happened after that because trust me there is more so anyway like I said vlogs exported uh, 15 minutes later I'm going to call it a night hopefully you guys enjoyed we're back to daily vlogging so I will see you every day and probably twice a day here for about a week because I'm going to continuously upload these vlogs but there's a ton and ton of footage so more than likely other trips I've been able to combine two days sometimes I maybe a few of them I'll be able to count like a park day and a rest day the next day but for the most part I got footage every single day lots and lots of footage there's like 350 minutes that I got so yeah it's a lot so I hope you guys enjoyed today and I hope you enjoyed the start of the Disney vlogs and we'll see you tomorrow.